Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. This video is day 24 of the 30 day challenge. It is all about integration by parts. Let's check it out. Integrate x times e to the power of x over 1 plus x whole square dx. First of all, we're going to use the absorption method. For these three parts in the integrand, we have to figure out which term to be absorbed into the differential. As the denominator is usually more difficult to handle, let's absorb it into dx, that is to integrate it. Let's write it as 1 plus x to the power of negative 2. At the same time, we can change dx to the bracket 1 plus x. Why? Because differentiating a constant is 0. It does not affect the differential. Now, the following part is the key idea of the whole question. Make sure that you get it. Let's focus on this term. It looks like the form t to the power of negative 2 dt. If we integrate it into the differential, then it is equal to negative dt to the power of negative 1. Likewise, 1 plus x to the power of negative 2 d bracket 1 plus x is equal to negative d bracket 1 plus x to the power of negative 1. We put this result into the integral like this. This is a special trick to handle product or quotients of several terms. Now, we are ready to apply integration by parts. Here, u is equal to x times e to the power of x, and v is equal to 1 plus x to the power of negative 1. Applying the formula, the first term is the product negative x times e to the power of x times 1 plus x to the power of negative 1. The second term is the integral by swapping u and v, which is integrate 1 plus x to the power of negative 1, the bracket x times e to the power of x. Be careful about the sign of the integral, because we have a negative sign in the previous step, and other negative sign is from integration by parts, so 2 negative gives a positive. Now, we look at this term. To differentiate x times e to the power of x, we use the product rule. The x times e to the power of x dx is equal to 1 times e to the power of x plus x times e to the power of x. Here, the exponential term is the common factor. Then, the differential, the bracket x times e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x times 1 plus x dx. Let's put this back into the integral like this. At the same time, we change 1 plus x to the power of negative 1 to 1 over 1 plus x for both terms. Can you see something nice here? Right, we can cancel out the term 1 plus x. Then the integral is much simpler. It is equal to e to the power of x dx, which is clearly e to the power of x. Let's combine these two terms to simplify it. Again, we take out the common factor e to the power of x. Then inside the bracket, we have 1 minus x over 1 plus x. After subtraction, we get the answer, which is e to the power of x over 1 plus x plus c. Wow, this is a really special way of absorption method. Let's have more examples to apply this skill. Check it out in the next video on day 25. The link is on screen. I will see you there.